Maybe we are supposed to meet the wrong people before right, meeting the right one, so that when we finally meet the right person, we will know how oh, grateful sorry. to be for that gift. Maybe it is true that we don't know what we have got until we lose it, but it is also true that we don't know what we have been missing until it arrives. Maybe the happiest of people don't necessarily have the best of everything. They just make the most of everything that comes along their way. Maybe the best kind of love is the kind you can sit on a sofa together and never say a word, and then walk away feeling like it was the best conversation you've ever had. San Francisco Steve is a man there could be numerous books written about, but none of them wouldn't do him any justice. He was a fully grown man when making his Holy Communion. <laughs> and his, his size really did benefit us all growing up, except when he would throw himself around a bit when you happened to be on the receiving end. The Stephen that's getting married today wasn't always this rock of sense he is now. He really did know how to enjoy himself, but these stories we can recall from those days will have to stay in the memory bank for today, at least. The memories we've created together and the stories we can recall as a group of friends are not in short and hilarious. When it comes to Ellis, we're all in agreement on one thing. She really has great patience. She's a pleasure to be around, always bubbly and happy. If there was ever a girl that you'd pick to tame her gentle giant and put some manners on him, it'd be Ellis. I know I speak for all the lads when I say that we're happily to finally fob him off on her for the rest of his life. It's your problem now, Ellis. I, Ellis, take you, Stephen, to be my husband. I, uh, I, Ellis, take you, Stephen, to be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. So long as we both shall live. So long as we both shall live. I, Stephen, take you, Ellis, to be my wife. I, Stephen, take you, Ellis, to be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. They stood right here and they married themselves to each other. So congratulations to you both. I can pronounce you as being husband and wife. Stephen, kiss your bride. <laughs>
It was definitely love at first sight. For Alice, at least. Yeah. <laughs> Probably not. I already knew a couple of Alice's friends at this stage, but Alice spotted me one night rocking into Copper Face Jacks, wearing my finest yellow jumper, and quickly asked the girls, who is he? I also have it on good authority from a few of her bridesmaids that are here today that she said something along the lines of, I'm getting stuck into him tonight. <laughs> but sure, who could blame her either? <laughs> as the night wore on and I, Julie, took too much porter on board, <laughs> as would have been a regular occurrence in those days, Ellis began to question her decision. <laughs> As I struggle to eat a kebab at four in the morning on Camden Street, she tells me I had more of it on my face and down that lovely yellow jumper than I did in my mouth. And for Ellis, who's a strict vegetarian, this obviously wasn't very attractive. Anyway, the girls very kindly dropped me back in their taxi to Wicklow that night, and Ellis found it somewhere in her heart to give me a second look, despite her better judgement, <laughs> by going out with me the following week. And the rest, as they say, is history. <laughs> Fast forward a few years to the night we got engaged, two and a half years ago, under the fireworks at the Dublin New Year's Eve concert. She said yes, which was the object of the exercise. <laughs> but she seemed genuinely shocked when I popped her the question, which surprised me at the time, if I'm honest, due to the heavy pressure she'd been putting me under for the past 18 months <laughs> to produce a ring. <laughs> now let's be clear about it. This was no subtle hints being dropped into conversation. This was direct questioning of military grade. <laughs> Not being one to feel the pressure, I kept her waiting a little while longer. But we both got what we wanted in the end. Saren, one of Ellis's bridesmaids today, nearly let the cat out of the bag that very same night when we randomly bumped into herself and Dylan on the street. We were having the chats, as you do, and then out of the blue, Saren too starts grilling me on when am I going to pop Ellis the question. <laughs> Not knowing that I had the ring in my pocket at that exact moment. Anyway, I weathered that late storm and I got the answer I was looking for when the clock struck 12. Ellis saying yes that night when I asked her to marry me has finally come to fruition today. It might have took a bit longer than we anticipated, but I think it was definitely worth the wait.